That's right, Margo. It may sound a little weird, but experts say that boxes like this are going to save hundreds of lives in the state of Alabama. Now, this is just an old uh, paper box, but the baby boxes they're giving away are about this size, and they're lined with blankets and padding for the baby. But the most important thing is there's nothing else in the box, no toys, nobody else around, so the baby can sleep without any other dangers. Well, Trent, how many times does it happen? You have an errand to run, but the only time a certain place is open is when you're at work, and sometimes you might try and leave work a little early to get there before they close, but when you get there, they're closed. Well, that hopefully won't be a problem for the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office anymore as they're expanding their hours. Well, Trent, right now we know that those two people who were shot were both taken to Huntsville Hospital in critical condition, and at least one of those gunshot victims was shot here at Twickingham Village Apartments. Now, just 30 minutes ago, Huntsville police officers were still here on scene walking up and down these sidewalks looking for any clues, any kind of evidence that could point them in the direction of the shooter. Well, if you're smart like I was back in December, you would have taken two vacation days this Thursday and Friday, but a recent study shows that 20 million Americans will print off their brackets right here at work, fill them out, and then they say it's costing employees an estimated $2.1 billion in lost productivity. Well, Elizabeth, I just spoke with a police sergeant, and he told me that one person was shot here at the Sitco on Pulaski and Oakwood Avenue, and one person was taken into the hospital in critical condition. Now, investigators just arrived on scene here. As you see, crime scene is up on the gas pumps, on the poles. They're really blocking off the area. Uh, traffic has been stopped up here for a few minutes, but they've opened up another lane very early on in this investigation. This just happened literally just at half an hour ago as police are still working the scene, trying to gather all the evidence they can. And we have heard uh, reports that there may be another scene. We're trying to get more information from police on that, but we do know uh, that the police sergeant should be coming to us to speak to us to give us a little bit more information here in the next few minutes. As I said, it's very early on in this investigation, but what we do know right now is someone was shot here at the Sitco on Pulaski and Oakwood, one person taken to the hospital in critical condition.